Welcome to Azure Teach.net. Azure web jobs are the process those runs in background and do certain tasks. You can relate these with window services or scheduled batch jobs. There are three types of web jobs. Scheduled web jobs runs at a particular scheduled time and we have to mention the schedule to run on demand or manual web jobs these we have to run manually continuous web jobs runs 24 by 7 you can relate these with windows services it is very easy concept and these are as part of app services so we have to create app service first here creating a new resource group rg demo okay and giving the name as azure teach demo and i'm choosing runtime stack as dotnet 6 and i want to change the size to dev test because this is a demo so i am choosing the free one clicking on apply clicking on review and create it will take some time let us come back after the app service is created the app service is created i am clicking on go to resource if you see here we have web jobs we can deploy web job by clicking on this add button and uploading the files manually also from visual studio and also from azure release pipelines First, let us discuss about on demand or manual web jobs. So, here I am giving the name as manual web job. We have to upload a file over here, preferably a zip file, and here it should be triggered. And here we have to choose manual, and after that, here we have to upload the file. Here I have created a .NET 6 console application. I have changed the console statement over here. Let us build the app. Here I am in the output folder. I am creating a zip file from this. Send to zip file now here i'm choosing the file to upload so i'm choosing web job demo.zip clicking on open. here it added the web job if you don't see this you have to click on this refresh button as this is a manual we have to run this manually i'm clicking on run button clicking on yes the web job is running now and now completed a few seconds ago i'm clicking on logs here we have the logs i'm clicking on the job name and here we have all the runs at present we ran it only once so here we have only one log i'm clicking on this and here we have the log and here is the statement that we have printed now here i am explicitly throwing an exception and right clicking on the visual studio clicking on publish and here i am choosing azure clicking on next choosing azure web jobs next and here i am choosing app service clicking on finish it created a publish profile i'm clicking on publish publish is successful and here it added a web job with the project name now i'm running this job clicking on yes now if you see it shows failed a few seconds ago if you see the logs here it shows you a failed status here is the detailed log and here is the reason for failure now let us discuss about a scheduled web job i'm clicking on add over here i'm naming my job as scheduled web job here i'm removing this exception in interest of time i built the solution and here i have created the zip file i'm selecting this and here i'm choosing schedule and if you want to run a scheduled web job we have to mention the schedule as form of a cron expression and here is the information on cron expression i'll share this link in the description so the cron expression will have six placeholders from second to day of week here are few example expression if you see here this runs every hour at fifth minute here we have few other examples as well and in this demo we are going to use something like this but we want to run our job for every two minutes so we have to use star slash two so here i am mentioning the cron expression clicking on ok this job starts after two minutes and it runs every two minutes i am passing this video for a few minutes so that we can see the logs after around six to seven minutes if you see completed a few seconds ago i'm clicking on logs here if you see it ran four times and you can click on these links to see logs in the same way that we have seen before here i have removed all the web jobs now let us deploy a scheduled web job from visual studio so for a scheduled web job we can mention the schedule inside the settings dot job and this is added by default for dotnet 6 console web job if it is not added you can add it manually and after that you have to use this configuration inside the properties this code was added by default in settings.job and we want to run our application for every two minutes so here i am changing this 15 to 2 and saving this apart from this property here we have few other properties as well 
here if you see e singleton this property is applicable to continuous web jobs continuous web jobs can be run in multiple instances and if you want to limit that to a single instance you can set this property to true and here we have stop wait time if your app service is stopped then web job will also be stopped assume your web job run is in progress so to avoid issues if you want to give any grace time to your web job you can give some time over here apart from these two we have one more property that is is in place when azure runs your web job it copies the files from deployment location to a temporary folder and runs from there this is to prevent the file logs if you want to run your web job from the deployed location itself then you can set this property to true now i want to publish this web job to azure so here i'm changing the web job name so here i'm adding schedule and clicking on save and after that clicking on publish button if you see here the job is published successfully after few minutes i'm clicking on logs over here here are the runs related to the web jobs and you can click on this to see the detailed logs now let us discuss about continuous web jobs i'm clicking on this add button and giving the name as continuous web job and here we have to choose the file i am using the same web job demo.zip and here i am choosing continuous and here we have single instance and this drop down is disabled because we are using free version of app service but in real time we use standard or some premium types and for that we can choose multi instance but for this demo we are using single instance clicking on ok here the web job is added and it is in initializing state now it is in pending restart it always shows you pending restart because our jab ran quickly and stopped and again it is restarting because we don't have much complicated code we just have a single console.write line if our job takes some time then it would have shown as running status i'm clicking on here i'm clicking on logs over here if you see the job ran multiple times and here are the print statements if you are using continuous or scheduled web jobs you have to do few more configurations and they are very very important and if you want to know about that click on i symbol that is there at the top of this video you can find the video related to that and you can watch that that is all in this video if you feel this video is helpful to you please like this video share it with your friends and also subscribe to azureteach.net channel for more videos on azure and .net thank you